I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I am Reverend Leon Baker, the pastor of the Damascus Baptist Church in Hardaway, Alabama, where it's all about Jesus. I'm coming to you this morning by way of social media. The devil cannot stop the word of God. We will continue to praise his name in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. We're going to continue to lift the name of Jesus and his word will still go forth. There's a word from the Lord this morning. Joshua, the first chapter. Joshua, the first chapter, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thou God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for all your blessings. Father, I pray that your word will fall on good ground, that it will take root and that it will grow. Oh, Father, let your word encourage and uplift the listeners this morning. For, Father, we realize that it's all about you. It's never been about us. It's all about you and the power that you have, Father. Oh, Father, hide me behind the old rugged cross. For I want your people to see you, Father, and not me. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. I will tag the message this morning with a thought. An invisible God. An invisible God. Just a few days ago, President Trump made a statement and in, in his statement, he said that the enemy is among us. But I want to take time today and inform you that there is an invisible God among us. God is stronger than the devil will ever be. It doesn't matter the power he thinks he has. We have to know that God has all power. The invisible God is with us. And God said that he would be with him wheresoever he goeth. God will be there. And we have to know that. Listeners, we need to know that God is with us. During this coronavirus pandemic, we have to know that God is standing by our side. I don't know about you, but I can't make it without him. I need him every day of my life. I look to him for all my strength. All my strength comes from the Lord. We have to know that the invisible God that I'm sharing with you today is the one that we need to look to. Yes, can't see him, but I can see his works. You know, God is an amazing God. I love him. I appreciate him. I realize that I can't move without him. I need him every day of my life. He walks and he talks with us. We have to realize that as we go through these difficult days, that he stands with us. He said in his word that he'll never leave us, nor will he forsake us. Let us hold to God's unchanging hand. Let us hold on to his hand. For he has not forgotten us. He knows what we're going through. Let us continue to trust him and hold on to his hand. Look at the word of God. In verse 9, he said, Have not I commanded thee? The Lord said, Have not I I've already told you to be strong? and of good courage. That's why we have to pray 
and stay before the Lord. We send in, we sent a timber a long time ago. We don't we believers, we believers, we we we, we pray before the storm come. We've already prayed, we've already talked to God, we've already had a strong communication with God. Look at the word of God. He said, be strong and of good courage. He, he's, he's encouraging Joshua today to be strong and of good courage. Not only did he encourage him in verse nine, but also in verse five, Joshua one and five. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, as I will was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. We have to know that he will not fail us, nor forsake us. Because we see that in our text that Joshua, God spoke to Joshua. And after Moses' death, Joshua was to lead the Israelites to the promised land. And what I want you to understand, listeners, that God is a promise keeper. He always keeps his promises. That's how we are making it. People say, how are you making it? How are we surviving the coronavirus pandemic? We're surviving it knowing that God is with us. As, we, as he was with Joshua, he's with us today. Let us continue to trust him. Let us continue to look to the hill from when cometh our help. And he has not given us the spirit of fear. In 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I'm standing on his promises. We're not going to fear no man, we're not going to fear any situation because we realize that the Lord is with us. That he is standing by our side during these terrible times. God is with us. We got to have faith. Faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. I thank God for Jesus. If it had not been for Jesus on our side, where would we be? An invisible God that's doing amazing things in our community. He's always been with us. Down through the years, the law's been good. Down through the years, he's opened doors that no man can close. He closed doors that no man can open. I love him. Anybody know that God is good? I know he is a way making God. We need to trust him. We need to understand that we are not alone. Even though we are isolated in certain areas, you have to know that the Lord is with you in your home, on your job. You have to know that the Lord is with you. Even though we're doing things different, we have a new norm going on. But I don't know about you, but I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him because I know he will always be there. I'm going to stand on his word because his word will always stand. We have to understand that he'll, he'll never leave us, nor will he forsake us. In Psalms 46, chapter said, God is our refuge and our strength and ever present help in trouble. You have to know that he's with us. You have to know the invisible God is making ways out of no way. You have to know that he's with our families as we go and, and deal with life situations, as we deal with the coronavirus. You have to know that God is covering each one of us. Listeners, hold to God's unchanging hand. Damascus, hold on. Trust him and don't leave him. Don't let the world stress us out because he's there to strengthen us. He's there and he will never leave us. Continue to trust him. Continue 
to look to the hills from whence cometh our help. All our help come from God. I love him. I adore him. I will always give him the praise. We have to recognize that even though it looks dark, but we have to know that God is going to work it out. He's working it out right now. Behind the scenes, he's working it out. I want you to continue to trust him. Continue to know that he's a great God. The reason I love him, because he died on Calvary Hill. The reason I love him, because when he died, they took him down, put him in Joseph's new tomb. But he didn't stay there. But it was early Sunday morning. He got up with all power, all power in his hand. Listeners, continue to trust him and continue to know that you are not alone. We have Jesus on the inside. The Holy Spirit is guiding us. We ask God daily to order our steps. God is a great God. He is an on-time God. I want to thank my church and my Facebook community for joining in today. Please follow us for all updates. Please feel free to like and share this page. Once again, it's all about Jesus. We love you and we know that all is going to be well. He said he'll never leave them. We'll trust him for that. Let's get through this together with, with God by our side, the invisible God. Everything is going to be all right. God bless you listeners. Love you. Continue to pray for each other. It's all about Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.